Hi guys! Welcome back. Um, today is going to be sort of a different video. Well, I mean, it's not something that's different that's been filmed on YouTube. It's the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I had a lot of my friends and family request that I do this challenge. I initially was not going to post this. Well, not post this, but do a video like this. I wasn't going to do this video because I felt like a bunch of people had done it already and I didn't know if it was still something people wanted to see. So, um, yeah. And of course, I picked the perfect day to do it. I just got off work this morning, a 12-hour shift, so I've been up for about 15 hours. So not too long, but yeah, still pretty long. Uh, I'm running on about one Red Bull and a cup of a really huge cup of coffee. So uh, I guess we will just get into. This. So I'm going to use this NYX Angel Veil Primer and just put this. And all over my face. This CoverGirl, I really like this because I have oily skin, as you guys all know. And I'm just going to focus this kind of on my forehead and on my nose and my cheek. I'm not sure if this foundation is going to match me and it's a really awful time to use it because I cannot see. So I went to the lake uh, like two, I think three days ago, and I like covered up my face, of course. I covered up my face. I'm just gonna try and do this here. I covered up my face and, um, I, um, oh god, I feel like that's not enough. I only use one dip usually. I covered up my face and I um, used sunscreen and stuff, but I feel like I still got tan. I don't understand it. Like my hands too, it got like really tan. So I just feel like, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. <laughs> I feel like I can't tell if this is blending out or not. Maybe I should have used a brush. <laughs> Let's just go over it one more time and hope for the best. So, oh my goodness. People are not lying when they say that this is stressful because <laughs> I feel like I've gone over my face, but like this foundation is so, it's not thick, but I mean like it doesn't feel thick to me, but it can be kind of hard to blend out a little bit. I do love it. I just don't want my skin to look all blotchy. Okay, um, that's it. I'm not going to do anything else with it. The next thing I'm going to go in with is my concealer. And this is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Wow, I feel like I went really high on that mark. Okay, so I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again and just blend this out. Yeah. So I went fishing and <laughs> all the fish that we caught, we ended up throwing back. Well, actually the one that I caught was pretty decent, but at, when I was taking the hook out of the fish's mouth, it uh, fell back into the water, of course, that would happen to me. <laughs> and it swam away. So I was like, man, oh well, just my luck. So since I have really oily skin, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with this Cody Airspun powder. Oh shit, I forgot I took out the sifter. Okay. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender or my Real Technique sponge in there. Um, 
pat this into my skin. I hope this is coming out okay. Oh my god. It feels like it's okay. I mean, like, it feels like it's okay, but you just never know. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this into my skin. So, yeah, that's the only um, trip that I plan on taking with my kiddo is to Kansas. I've I've just been really busy doing a bunch of overtime and stuff. We're just saving up so that we can have money to go on the trip and my mother's gonna go with us so it's gonna be really fun and I think I'm just going to, I don't know why I closed that because I'm going to set the rest of my face with that using a powder brush from Beach Cosmetics, just dipping it in there a little bit and then pressing it in to my skin. Actually, I'm just going to take what's in the cap. So, hoping, well that feels like it's set, I think it feels like it's set. Um, the next thing I'm going to go in is with my bronzer, and this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze, and I'm using this little round kabuki brush thingy, and <laughs> here we go. So, I was, I probably kind of walked into this because I was um, watching some of the no makeup, um, no mirror makeup challenges and I, well, like, I guess I kind of just walked into it and people were telling, asking me if I was going to do it and I was like, I don't know if I want to do it or not because been a video that's been done a lot so yeah I think that's it <laughs> I hope it's okay so uh, the next thing I'm going to go in with is my contour and I'm going to use this Anastasia um, contour kit and I think I'm going to be brave and just use this color right here with this elf brush that I usually oh god that I usually um, contour with. Wow, that's a lot. Please. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, this contour is going to be so muddy. I can already feel it. I feel like it's just not it's just gonna look <laughs> terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tap in and then just do the edges of my forehead. My hair is getting all over the place! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run my excess on my nose like I usually do. Hopefully it does not look like crazy. Chin. And then I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette and I think I'm going to take this one right here with my Real Techniques Blush Brush and just um, sweep this on my cheeks a bit. That was either too much or too little. Blend that away a little bit more. Okay. And then, of course, going in with my highlights. And this is the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And I'm not going to look... Oh. not going to look at the... Um, mirror. I'm just going to take this and then kind of put that in. That feels right. I'm not too worried, I think, about the face makeup. I'm more, 
um, worried about the eye makeup and my lashes. Close that and I guess I can go in with my brows this is the one that I really did not want to do I did not want to do my brows I was like ah why can't I just have okay I'm just gonna spoolie this kind of up I feel like my hair is just crazy probably shouldn't because it'll just make my hand all shaky but I need it okay so what I usually do is I take a brush and I kind of go like this and uh, I kind of make like a little dot and the other side and I make a dot <laughs> I don't know why I just did both sides now that I think about it okay well let's just hold this here and then I'm going to The problem is, is I don't know where I begin, and then I don't know where my strokes are, so... Oh my god. <laughs> I just have a feeling that this brow is already all jacked up. I don't even... Hold on here. Maybe if I use my finger to kind of guide. Because I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! Ugh. This is terrible. My brow is probably just straight. I usually have like a little bit of an arch. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this side. And you know, girls who have actual brows, you guys are just so lucky. Because you could probably just put brow gel in and that'll be that. Oh god. And, or like a tinted brow gel, I mean, and you would be okay, but okay. I think that's okay. I'll try to blend it out just a little bit, so I'm going to take this and brush it my brows. I got that on my lid. I can feel it. Ah! A blending brush and some of this translucent powder. Just so that all of our stuff. And I've decided that I am going to go kind of dramatic on my eyeshadow even though I probably shouldn't but I feel like when people do this tutorial or <laughs> when people do this video they don't do very dramatic stuff so I'm going to go in with my Too Faced palette and I'm not going to look god how can I do this all right you guys so I knew something was wrong I did not look at my face or anything I promise I did not look at my face but I figured that there was something going on, so I went and looked at my viewfinder. Not looking at my face, because the viewfinder is flipped behind. And my camera stopped recording, so I don't know if you guys saw, but I just took this palette, and I took the salted caramel right here, and I just put that in my crease. And now I'm going to take milk chocolate and sort of... See, I'm trying not to look. I'm taking that and I'm putting that um, just right where we put salted caramel. So this is hard. Okay, I'm going to take a little shader brush like this. This is from Wet n Wild, and I'm going in with gilded ganache right here. all over the lid. Oh, God. I don't like 
It's so quiet. I don't want to poke my eye out or get any shadow in my eye. This is terrible. I was watching Desi and Luster Lux do their No Mirror Makeup Challenge and I feel like they did so good. And I know for sure mine is not going to turn out half as good as theirs. Mine is probably looking really crazy right now. I can tell. I can just tell. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to go on with my finger because I can't even tell what I'm doing with that freaking brush. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take my blending brush and then do some blending. <laughs> I just drooled on myself. I'm going to drink some more coffee. So, um, yeah, and I have drool all over my lip. I hope it's still recording. I gotta check it here in a little bit. Okay. Um, I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to take creme brulee right here. And I'm gonna take it with this finger here and I'm just gonna pat this in the middle of my lid. Like that. So uh, I also had a request to do the no brush makeup challenge. And the power of makeup. Oh, I don't even know if this is coming up. So now I'm done with my eyes. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom of my eyes. I'm gonna take this kind of like angle brush and I'm going to go in with salted caramel. Salted caramel. And just place this on my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with this milk chocolate color right here. And oh dang. And just continue smoking out that bottom of my last line. I think that's enough. And then I'm going to go in with this kind of like smudger brush and I'm going in with that gilded honey or gilded ganache color. And I'm going to press that just on all out. Okay. Line. okay. Is this okay? Yeesh. I don't know. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. Stomach is growling, I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I'm gonna go in with my mascara, another scary thing. Okay, and then I'm going to put on some false eyelashes. I don't know how this is gonna work. On. We're just gonna try to do the other side. Okay. And. Okay. Did I even. I think we're gonna take that off because I don't even. That feels a little okay, but not completely right. And then I'm going in with my lips. I'm going to try to line my lips with this lip liner from Rimmel. It's in the color natural. I think. Alright. I have like snaggle teeth. And it 
makes it hard to line my lips. I don't know if you can hear that. There are chickens clicking. Really sorry about that. They just kind of have a mind of their own. Oh god, it's really good at stuff right there. Oh, I should stop talking. Oh my god. Well, mm, this contour is not at all. Okay. My eyelashes look crazy and this brow is just, I have no idea. Look at these brows, they look, oh my gosh. So this is my no mirror makeup challenge. I hope you guys got a couple of laughs and saw another side of me that you guys haven't seen on my channel. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you were having a bad day, I hope this gave you a couple of smiles. So until next time, I'll, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.